What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a new sprinkler to an already existing sprinkler system. Um, first off, I'm going to start digging out my sod. We'll go ahead and just go straight down <clears throat> to where I want the sprinkler and then kind of dig underneath the sod enough to go ahead and fold it up over. I'll take my pickaxe and loosen up the dirt here. Take my trench shovel, dig out all the loose dirt. And be careful not to hit your existing PVC line. You don't want to break that, but I mean, I guess if you do, it's not that big a deal with the uh, fitting that I'll be using. But there's the exposed line. So over here to the right, I'm going to lift up the sod and dig down so I have a little more room to work with. So again, just digging up the sod, I'm going to just fold it over, that way I'm not tearing it all the way out, and just fold it right back into place when I'm finished. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and use my little garden shovel just to remove any loose dirt that's underneath the pipe so I have a good amount of room to work with. Good depth. Alright, so I've got this fitting. It'll go on each end of the pipe. And this telescope's out and in. Um, I will take this pipe and cut here and here and then telescope that out with this fitting on the telescope and on the right side of this pipe here. Slide into there. And then I'll have the threaded T facing towards there where my new sprinkler will go. Um, so here I'll make my cuts. Water spilling out here because the pipes still have water in them, but shouldn't be enough to get in the way. Kind of measure out where you're gonna have your pipe go. It doesn't have to be exact because it's telescopes. That's the nice thing about this piece. piece cut out so I'm going to use some primer and go around that um, insert there also on the female end of this fitting here So that's primer, this is the glue, same thing, go around, be really generous with both primer and the glue, so you get a nice solid bond formed. <laughs> Move it on the outside of that pipe and on the inside of the fitting here, and then you'll slide it on and give it about a quarter turn, and then I'll kind of hold it in place for about five seconds, let that seal in really nicely. Take my um, threaded T here, and I'll glue that on the PVC pipe and the end of the telescoping fitting here. Again, you use your primer, go around each end. And then on the 
inside of the fitting here. I don't know if I've said, but all my pipe is one inch. Um, this telescoping fitting comes in multiple sizes. I think it comes in half inch all the way up to like three or four inches. So um, you have a lot of options, and it's a really convenient way to either repair or add stuff to your sprinkling line. Be generous with the glue here. So I'll stick it on the telescoping end first, and then I'll extend out that telescope and fit it onto my existing PVC pipe. Got a nice seal there. Here's what the final product of the pipe looks like. And then I'll go ahead and thread in my um, barb here, so the barb's in already, and then you'll take your funny pipe and really work that onto the barb, push and twist. I didn't give myself enough room here, so it was a little difficult to get on, but push and twist, it should go on pretty pretty easily. Couldn't get enough traction with my gloves. I'm going to take my gloves off. And off goes the second glove. Put that in. <clears throat> All right, and then I've got my Teflon tape around my barb that's going into the sprinkler. Screw that in nice and tight. And then I'll head over to the other end of the funny pipe here. I'm going to give her a little measurement of where you need your pipe to go. Make a cut. And then you'll just take and Twist that barb onto the end of the funny pipe. Firm pressure, rock back and forth, twist. <coughs> While I was working, I found this little guy. It's, uh, it's some sort of a jumping spider. I tried to get it to jump, but it wouldn't jump. No. And then I'm going to connect my uh, spray nozzle, so screw off these caps that come on. Those little filters stick down in the pop-up and then screw your nozzle on. And this nozzle is specifically for park strips and it sprays five feet out, or I guess five feet forward rather, and then up to like 15 feet out. So. You're just testing the water line before I bury it, make sure there's no leaks and everything's running smoothly. Everything's running good, so we'll go ahead and bury our line and get everything nice and even. And then fold that sod back over. Take a little utility knife and cut around the sprinkler just to help it fit nicely. down in there and yeah everything's running good and here's the uh, final product running you can see that dry spot there is now getting some good water so if you like this video go ahead and like subscribe comment if you have questions or if you have any tips to help somebody else while they're doing their system thanks for watching